about this, which is an interview which came out a while ago, a couple of weeks ago, with Khabib um, Namagamedov on ESPN. Right? And, and he was talking about Conor McGregor versus Dustin Poirier 3. He had some very not um, kind words to say about Conor McGregor. Um, he was obviously bigging up his guy, Islam. And he said something very interesting towards right at the end of the actual interview itself, where he spoke about um, how he basically you know, helps his fighters and people that he basically wants to train and mentor and stuff. And he mentioned how in MMA or UFC, you have to be really honest with people that you're working with and training because, you know, the fight game isn't a game. I think he basically says it's not some sport you can just play. It's life and death. So somebody definitely doesn't have the chops for it, doesn't have the mentality, doesn't have the talent, or maybe it's too old. I think he's mentioned age a lot. He's very black and white, which is why I probably like sports a lot so much because there is no kind of debate and stuff. The numbers are the numbers. The eye test is the eye test. There is no, you know, game in the system. There is no licking of Passes. there is no kind of networking your way to the top you have to kind of at one point or the other you can obviously get your foot in the door by being somebody's friends and panning up to certain people but when it push comes to shove you really have to deliver you're only there on your own right and you're going to be exposed one way or the other so i like black i like sports that way because it's very very black and white and he mentions a lot of age he mentions a lot of experience talent all this sort of stuff and he basically mentions if some of his fighters he feels i don't have it he kind of encourages them to pursue other things because obviously the fight game is very brutal and it made me think of creative pursuit specifically one guy in person who i'm um friends with who i saw a clip of him performing somewhere and it sounded shockingly bad um it didn't really sound like he improved from all the years i've seen him perform in other places and it made me think like are his friends doing him a disservice by not telling him to maybe pursue other things because he's clearly not talented at what he's doing he's not good at it it's just is you know um demonstrably it's demonstrably true it's just evidently true but if you just listen to his music it just sounds horrendous he's performing live at some show are his friends doing a disservice by not being honest and telling him hey stop that and do something else or especially considering we've been under lockdown and people haven't been able to pursue their creative kind of hobbies and stuff that they want to do should anybody be in a position to tell somebody not to do something that they enjoy, even if it's not going to take them anywhere? Because, you know, when I always mention on the show a lot, as adults, it's really difficult to have hobbies. You don't really get them, right? Hobbies don't really exist for adults. You kind of just end up having a couple of things that you do, but you don't really have stuff that you do outside of maybe hanging out with your friends. So if you have something that can maybe allow you to travel the world, allow you to travel the country, go to different places, see different faces, keep the fire burning inside of you who's to tell you you should stop but then again maybe are you wasting your time i don't know let's play the clip and you hear what could be best to say and then we can carry on on the other side before his son can finish like 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 i have guys in my team i give them advice you guys like like when i see someone he don't have fire He's like age, like I just tell him, hey, you, you, it's gonna be better if you find other job. And I try to help him, like give him like some job, make him busy, make him money, like you know, like just do, just don't tell me, like just leave this sport. No, we have to make him busy, do something like in other, like uh, you know, like things, because in this sport you have to be very hungry. Or other way, like someone gonna come and hurt you when you have family, kids, when you have all life ahead you know it's like uh, this is this is not easy like look what happened with connor you know he had kids watch like his family watch look what happened with like chris weidman or like anderson silva like not only these guys who broke legs like other guys who have damage on their bra brain you know how many guys they still compete knockout 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 this is change your mind change your brain like this is give you very like uh, they make you like different person because of too much you and he's right right he's completely right in what he says but for some reason we don't seem to have the same level of like black and whiteness in terms of creative pursuits and again i'm not too sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing because part of me thinks you know he said he likes to tell his you know tell his fighters if they not, haven't got the chance for it i'll find you something else to keep yourself busy because quite clearly if those guys are in those gyms and trying to make some money it's because they don't really have anything else going for them right they feel as if this is the only one option that they have to kind of come out of whatever situation that they're in they're blessed with these physical attributes they're big they're strong maybe they've got a hell of a chin on them they think you know what let me go to ufc and i can maybe make some money that way 
But obviously at the level that MMA is at the, at the moment, you just can't be a big, strong guy and get away with it. You have to be skilled, right? Because people are basically practicing and training at this sport like it's any other sport. They're doing it every single day. They've been doing it since they're young. It's just impossible to kind of, you know, uh, make up that skill and knowledge gap just through pure, you know, physical attributes alone. It's just not going to happen. So he finds some other things to do, but that's the key thing. He's trying to find some other things because it's important to keep them busy because he knows people with those kind of physical attributes, with that kind of temperament to be in the octagon to knock people out and shit, you know, you you need to keep those people busy. You can't have somebody that big with that kind of level of aggression just sitting the idle. They need to be, they need to be fit. They need to feel of use. And of course, maybe it comes because of the society he's from, being a man, you have to feel like you're providing for the family, blah, 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 blah. Forget that. But there doesn't need to be said it does need to be something that needs to be spoken about a lot more in the creative fields where people need to be maybe told or informed that maybe what you're pursuing isn't necessarily something that can ever become a career but then you feel like where who are you to tell that person this thing because you just never know there are so many stories of people who are unlikely successes but then you know some people would argue that those people are anomalies i'm not really too sure what the real kind of solution is there but it would be great if people maybe had a mixture of friends in their social group there you had somebody who could be the eternal dreamer right we've all got that person in our crew i know people who are like this who are still making music now right trying to be rappers and singers and stuff and you clearly know it's not going to happen but then you also need people in your crew that are realists who can tell you hey man you're 32 you don't have kids you don't have a family and stuff that can give you that kind of balance but unfortunately it feels like people are either kind of maybe it's because of human nature we tend to maybe attract people who we want to be in our lives so if we want kind of people that are going to gas us up and give us um false hope then we're going to surround ourselves with these people and the moment someone comes around and tries to be real we kind of cut them out and move on to somebody else i'm not really too sure of the solution but when i did that video of my friend performing and singing completely out of tone and sounding completely horrendous i was just thinking to myself shit man and like still all these years he still hasn't improved he's still not good at what he does and it's just a shame because he quite clearly is passionate about what he does he quite clearly wants it to happen but you can't exactly will yourself into becoming a star or becoming successful it doesn't really i don't think it happens that way it's either you have it or you don't and for some reason sports is easily there's an easy measure of that for you just your talents and be able to kick a ball catch a ball hold a stick right there's something that you can gauge where you're at but in terms of creative pursuits unless it you know you're talking about our actual singers when it comes to artistry like you know dj is a good example like myself there's no real way to discern between why a person is playing on a big festival stage somewhere in the middle of Barcelona and why the person playing in the pub for $50 isn't playing on that stage. There's no real rhyme or reason why, right? It's just because it is what it is. Maybe because that person made a track, you don't really know, but in terms of skill level, they're probably on the same sort of playing field. So it's difficult to tell pub guy to stop aiming for the festival stage because festival stage guy was the pub guy once in a lifetime as well so it's kind of too far i'm not really too sure what you said but let me know what you think if you have friends that are in the creative arts and are still trying to become singers at you know ungodly ages who quite clearly you think maybe aren't that good who have maybe tried to open 17 shopify businesses that have all failed but they keep on trying and they keep putting entrepreneur in their title of their bio of their instagram do you have to do you feel like you have to tell them that they suck or do you think the world is just going to inform them for them what do you think i'd love to know what you think in the comments down below i would love to know what you think <clears throat>